welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by so this video was done using the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette all on my eyelids this is uh, how the palette looks and these are the shades now I've been using this palette a lot for my go-to you know because I do like neutral tones and I think this palette brings the colors that I normally gravitate to so it works very well the only thing it doesn't have a black shade but we'll make it work so for this time around I wanted to do something different I wanted to use certain colors that I've never used before so this time I used the antique bronze shade that's this shade right here and I also use the Cypress Umber, that's this shade right here, and that's the dark shade that I have in the outer section and in my crease area. So there is some glitter under here that was not intended, but things happen, and this is the second time I'm recording this video, and for the second time, this I keep watering. So I decided the best way to mask my mistake is to slap some glitter on it. I think glitter makes everything looks better and make everything just be better. So I use my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in Topaz Twinkle and just apply some of that glitter under there just to hide that mistake and keep this video moving because I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. and. Another big mishap when I was doing the eye look, you know, I normally zoom in when I'm doing my eye look. When I was doing my eye look, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Like, how could I even make such a huge mistake? But a solution, because I this is the second time I'm doing this video, the one before I did actually film the eye look. So I'll just insert that clip at that you know when it comes to that point in the video so you guys will get to see how i created this look minus the glitter because i didn't thought of the glitter then so yeah so you guys won't see the glitter but it's just literally just opening the tube and just using the applicator tip and just sparsely spreading the glitter under there so sorry about that did not intend to not you know press that record button forgive me please so yeah so I think that's all the things I need to say so yeah if you're new to my channel welcome and thank you for stopping by please hit on that subscribe button below before you leave I mean after you finish watching the video you hit on that subscribe button and also that like button if you like this video and like videos like this where I'm just using one palette to show you guys how to create a look from it if you guys would like to see me do more videos like this where i'm using one palette or one brand to do an, either an entire face or just an eye look please leave your suggestions and comments in the description well in the comment section below as usual all the products will be listed in the description box below so you guys can go check that out i appreciate every single one of you until next time stay beautiful Bye. Hi guys, so to start things off, we're going to prime the skin with our Skindanavia, the primer spray. And make sure your mouth is closed. As you see, I got some in my mouth. Then I'm going to prime my eyes and my brows using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Then for my brows today, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in chocolate. Spooly end of the brow wiz to comb through my hair, fill in those sparse areas of my brows. And then I'm going to go back in with that spoolie just to brush everything through and making sure that I distribute the product evenly. Go on the outer side of my brows. I'm taking the Rummel London Eyebrow Pencil in Black Brown. And I do this because I want the end parts of my brows to be a bit more darker and thicker than the rest of it. I normally take a break from my brows to continue priming my skin for my foundation. And I'm taking the Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer, applying it all over my face. Next, I'm going to take the Benefits, the Professional to fill in those large holes in my face. Jumping back to the brows, I'm gonna take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amand. 
and I'm gonna use my e.l.f. smudge brush and then I'm gonna blend the edges out using my fingers. To clean on top of my brows, I'm gonna take my foundation for today and that is the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation in Hazelnut. And the brows are done. Continuing on our face, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Color Correcting Orange and just minim diminishing those dark spots and those dark under eye circles and I'm taking my damp beauty blender to blend this all out I'm just priming my lips for my lipstick down the line and I'm using the aquaphor healing ointment for foundation again I'm going in with that black opal liquid foundation in hazelnut and I'm using that same damp beauty blender to apply this all over the face. I know it looks a bit yellow and everything, but don't worry, it oxidizes and it matches my skin tone perfectly. Because my face is a bit darker than the rest of my body, so it just all works. For highlighting today, I'm taking both the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe to highlight. And I like both these products. The NARS is a bit more thick and more subtle. And then the NARS one gives me a bit more highlight. So that's why I like to use a combination of those two. And I'm using the opposite side of my beauty blender to blend this all out. And then go over the edges with the side I applied my foundation. And I'm applying my highlighter to my other usual areas. Cupid's bow, forehead, etc. I'm just applying a bit more Maybelline Fit Me Concealer just under my eyes only just to give more brightness under there. And then to set all of that in place, I'm taking my Ben Nye Translucent Powder in Topaz and my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and just applying those to all the areas that I just highlighted with that same damp beauty blender. Next, I'm going to set the rest of my face and blend out that highlight area using my matte mineralized skin finish in dark deep and i'm using my real techniques powder brush to do so jumping into the eyes that's the eye look we're gonna create i'm gonna first prep my eyes using the matte paint pot in painterly and i'm using my fingers to apply this Going into the Anastasia Beverly Hill Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to take the shade Raw Sienna to set my brow bone and my crease area. Going back into that palette, I'm going to take the shade Real Gar on this crease brush and I'm just going to apply it on the outer section of my eyes and gently sweep it inside, kind of making a C shape on the outer section of my eyes. And I'm just gonna continue to build up that color until I get the intensity that I like. And I'm gonna blend the edges of that out using the dual ended brush that comes in the palette and I'm taking the fluffy end of the brush. Going back into the palette, I'm gonna take this shade Cypress Amber and I'm gonna use my Sigma E30 pencil brush to apply this directly into my crease and this is gonna define that C shape that I want. And I'm using gently strokes to just carve out the shape, taking my time to make sure it is exactly how I want it and I'm just gonna gradually build that intensity. And as I get closer to the inner section of my eyes, I'm not putting any product. I'm just taking whatever is remaining on that brush and just sweeping on the inner section. Going over the edges using that brush from the palette. Going back into the palette, I'm gonna take the shade Antique bronze on my Bedellium Tool 774 brush and I'm just going to pat that onto my eyelids. Then I'm going to take the shade Primavera and I'm just going to apply that on the inner thirds of my eyelids and bring that in to meet the antique bronze and make sure there's no harsh line. Using that Sigma E30 brush, I'm just intensifying some of that cypress amber that we lost when applying the antique antique bronze and just making sure everything is well blended and intensifying colors where I need to intensify it. Whenever you're doing an eye look, you'll have to reapply and you'll just have to reapply colors because sometimes colors get 
lost when you're blending. For my wing today, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Fine Line Felt Tip Eyeliner in black. And I'm just gonna wing my eyes out, taking my time to get it precise. And normally after I do my wing, that tells me if I need to intensify which areas. So that's what I'm doing now. Just taking a little bit more of the Cypress Umber. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm going to take the NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil in black. And then I'm going to smudge some of that Real Gar under my eyes using that brush that comes in the palette. And then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and Cypress Umber to smoke it out a bit more and just doing one final blending. In my inner tear duct using the Morphe E36 brush, I'm gonna take the shade Vermeer and apply that. And then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in Blackest Black and prep my eyes for my falsies, which are the I Envy by Kiss in the style Beyond Natural. And as I said, I applied my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Topaz Twinkle in my lower, lower thirds of my eyes just to cover my mistakes and keep it moving. Back to the face. We're going to take the CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer and I'm going to bronze and contour my face using my Real Techniques Blush Brush. And then to clean that up, I'm going to use the mixture of the Buttercup and Topaz Powder on my Beauty Blender just to sharpen things up and clean up that where I bronze. For highlight today, I'm going to take the Laura Geller Highlighter in Gilded Honey and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Setting Powder Brush to apply this. And I'm applying this on the high parts of my cheeks and the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my, and my cupid's bow. For blush today, I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine, and I'm using that Real Techniques Blush Brush to apply this. And then I'm just gonna go over everything with my powder brush just to blend everything in more with the skin. For lips today, I'm going to first take my NYX Lip Liner in Espresso to line my lips. And then I'm going to fill in my lips using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Beeper. And I've never used Beeper by itself and I'm really feeling it for a very nude lip. Like this is going to be my go-to nude lip. You can leave the lips like this but I wanted a bit more gloss. So I went in with my Artistry Light Up Gloss in the shade Champagne. And then I'm just going over once more with my powder brush, dusting away that big. And then spraying my face with the Elf Makeup Mist and Set Spray. And that is it for today. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.